I'm at Schusselfeld in Northern Bavaria. This is the Morello showroom and I have filmed all of these vehicles here should you be so inclined to see them except the real big one over there which is the Empire Liner. But uh, somebody's coming to take collect that so that won't be filmed. But all the rest have been. This is the Morello loft. This will cost 236,000 euros, uh, although it's got uh, quite a lot of extras on it. I won't read you the entire list. I'll just show you the list. These are the list of the, the extras down there. So, but the base price is there, which is 171,000 euros, including value added tax, which is 19%. Now, I'll give you some of the basic information from this Euro 6 engine, four cylinder, it's a three liter engine. It's got, uh, what else can I tell you of interest there? Oh, yeah, six tons. It's a six ton basis or it can be put on a 7,200 ton basis, but in this condition it weighs 4,900 tons, so that'll give you 1,100 tons of payload, or you have 2,300 if you wanted to. Its measurements are, uh, so its length is 798 centimeters, 240 centimeters is the width, and 335 centimeters is the height. So, uh, you can see at the back, it's got a pretty big garage. Let's go inside, noting as we go in the rather attractive uh, lighting on the awning. As we come in, we've got on our right, we've got a extendable table, lots of space around the lounge and a skylight up there above the driving position there is an extra bed the steering wheel has been taken off so that allows the chair to go further back you've got space there for cups the whole thing up front looks as though it's part of the furniture I would say and there's also a little fridge down there it's just in case you wanted to drink something whilst driving or alternatively so you didn't have to get up when while sitting in the seat up here and perhaps talking around the table One thing that strikes me, being in here, is the amount of space it has and the amount of light. Obviously the lights are on, both the direct and indirect, but at, uh, you know, with this big uh, skylight up there, that would give uh, lots of light uh, if we were outside. Obviously we're indoors at the moment. Down there we've got a mirror. So we can see ourselves as we are leaving. The floor is flat all the way through. And I just hit my head on the bed, which is one of the reasons I don't like beds up there. And one of the reasons I would get rid of the bed if it were... Uh, mine, I was buying it new. Open this up like that to reveal a slide out pantry. And there's a second one down here. This one's got space for bottles. This drawer is shorter because up here we've got the sinks. So, very heavy cover for that. Molded seamless sink, deep, and it's got domestic type plug hole, as this one has also. So, 
so I'm lifting a heavy sink cover with my left hand and now a heavy camera and gimbal with the right hand. So here we've got plenty of storage space for above and there's plenty of workspace below for the kitchen. Over here we've got the coffee machine and over here we've got the pods to go with it. Oven, freezer, fridge. Now coming through here we've got this enormous bedroom and dressing room. Absolutely enormous. So, and this can be closed off as you can see here should you have somebody in the living room here. Alternatively, if the person who's sleeping over the driver's cabin needs to come into the toilet at night, you can close the door to the rear bedroom, the sliding door. Just look at the amount of space here. So, so there you've got your hanging space. You can take the um, uh, the shelves out should you want, as you can do with the domestic stuff. Big mirror with me, and uh, obviously you can store things behind the mirror as well as you can in most bathrooms and there you've got the skylight above storage space below and of course under the bed as well a little bit of space there more than, more than a little bit it's a big bit now to get into the bed bed i suppose you could walk around like that which takes you to the next wardrobe there or storage area I should say and uh, lockers above now in this case sleeping is only widthwise in the van unless you're particularly short you do have access to the roof from up there or to the sunshine or the stars at night which you can watch from the bed if you don't watch them you can watch the telly which is there <laughs> 